What's up, the Chief here. Welcome back to the Tactical Studio. And today I'll be going over Safe Flight Defenses tourniquet pouches. Now, when you go on their website, they have two different styles. They have the grid pattern, which is like a basket weave. Then they have the hair cell, which is a very soft black. Pretty much will go with everything. Mounting instructions are on the website, how to do it. If you have a one inch belt, you're just gonna utilize or however you wanna do it, it's on the website. But we're not going over that today. What we're going over is how to put the tourniquet inside of the tourniquet pouch. That is, believe it or not, that is the biggest question. People all the time are sending me messages. Chief, how do I mount this thing inside her? No matter what I do, I can't get it on there. So today we're going to go over that. So of course, whenever you're you're uh, putting your, your um, tourniquet inside the pouch, you want to have it prepped for deployment. So meaning that it should be ready when you pull it out of the tourniquet pouch, it should be ready to go. So right now I have it open far enough so it's going to fit through my leg. So if I get shot in the leg, I'll be able to just throw it over, tighten it up. Same thing for the arm. So right now it's set for my leg. So what you're going to want to do is right here, there's a buckle on the bottom. This is where it's going to be one of the folding points. Are right, you just going to fold that up just like that? All right. You're going to leave it. This is how it's going to go inside of your turn. It may doesn't look right right now, but it, it'll make sense. Okay. Trust me. All right. So this is how it's going to go inside. So it's going to go in there, slip it in there, bucket in, buckle down, slip that buckle through, through, push it down, get it in there nice and neat. All right, so now it's in there. All right, now you don't want this. Thing, you want this thing kind of snug because you don't want to, you know, when you're chasing somebody, jump on a fence, whatever the case may be. You don't want this jumping out. So it's in there pretty nice, but it's going to deploy. We'll, we'll deploy, pull it back out again. So it's going to look like this when you're done. All you're simply going to do is pull this tab back just a little bit, tuck that down on there in the back, nice and neat, and bam! Look at that bad boy. That looks damn pretty right there. All right, now remember, it's in there pretty tight. That thing is not moving. But when you want to deploy it, it's on there. Look at how easy that comes out. That is one of the top questions I get all the time, and I wanted to answer that. Now, when it comes, when you get it, it also comes with an Allen wrench. All right, so you can tighten it up on, you know, tighten these two bolts up on the side independently, depending on how um, snug you want your tourniquet in there. Like I said, I mean, that that's really up to you how, how, how tight you want it in there. So just remember, all right? Starting from the beginning again, ready for deployment. You got the buckle on the bottom. That's gonna be your, your first uh, bend point right there. Leave it up like that. You're gonna simply just come in, push it all the way through. You're gonna have that piece sticking up. Don't worry about it. On the back, so you're, gonna, you're not gonna fold it forward. You're gonna fold it to the back, towards the back. Tuck it right underneath there. Now once you get it in there, look at that. That is pretty. So I hope this helped you guys out. Hope to save you guys some time sitting around trying to get the tourniquet in there, especially if you have to deploy it or whatever the case may be. But hope this helps out. God bless. Stay safe. Don't forget to use my code, the chief. You get 10% off the entire website. God bless. Stay safe. Train hard. Work hard.